Hi everyone! So tonight I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this package for a long time. So tonight I'm gonna open my Bathing Garden Winter 2021 collection with you guys. I kind of sneaked that I had a really big order coming so I wasn't sure if I was gonna do two videos or just keep it one super long video. I saw that I had two shipping notifications. I only had one order, I placed one. Um, so I thought the first one was a mistake because the first shipping notification wasn't moving, like it just said pre-shipment, and the other one was moving and getting scanned. But then all of a sudden today, both of them set out for delivery. So then I was like, perfect. If there's two boxes, I'll just split it that way. But okay, this is what my two boxes looks like. So one of them is like a small like regional rate A box. And then one of them was shipped in a large flat rate box. So then I was kind of like, okay, I don't want to split it up that way because they're going to be like uneven since one's like really big and one's smaller. So I'm just going to do one long video and we'll go from there. Um, I ordered this on November 2nd. It shipped November 29th and it arrived today, December 2nd. So I'm so excited. Let's just get started. I'm just going to cut this open. Um, I'll show you guys what it looks like and then I think I'm gonna pause, un unwrap everything because she wraps, if, if it's like the fall collection, she wraps everything individually in tissue paper and um, I'm just gonna arrange everything in like order so we can go down it like alphabetically. Um, I think that's gonna be the best way to like stay organized in this video because you guys, it's like 50 some clams. And I did order some body care this time because people said her body care items were really great. So I thought I would give those a try. So let's open up these. You guys, seriously, it's so much. Like look at box one of two. I can't believe it was so big. It shipped in two boxes. Okay, super cute. So this is the wrapping of the regional rate A box. Season's greetings. Um, oh, wow, okay. So it's just kind of wrapped in the, I just kind of picked up the tissue paper and it came out like that. Oh, there we go. Open this. All right, so my invoice is in here. She did write sent in two boxes. Thank you so much, Emily. Happy holidays. It's always great she sends an invoice. And then, honestly, so are these freebies on the top because it says thank you? Um. When I had my fall order, she was doing like a promotion where if you bought like $40 worth of product, she sent a free clam. I'm not sure if that's what she did again. Um, I don't know. And are, are these my orders? Let's see. Like I said, I think I'm gonna like organize this all so I'm not like all discombobulated in this video, but I think the majority in here might be freebies and a few of my orders because I also see the freebie sampler sample bag. And then these ones that say thank you on top, I think are freebie clams as well. So that's the regional rate A box. And then I'll just show you guys really quick what the large flat rate box looks like. Then I'm gonna take a quick break, unwrap everything from the cute tissue paper. And we'll start going through all the scents that I got. So this is like, the same thing. Oh my gosh. This is, okay. This is like the same thing. So season's greetings. Oh, that's heavy. Okay. I'll just unwrap this really quick so I can show you guys. This is so satisfying. Look at how pretty that is. Isn't that so pretty? Oh my gosh. I'm obsessed with this packaging. And look at how she packaged it. Like it's literally in order. The reds go diagonal, the dark green diagonal, the light green, like it's so satisfying. Okay, so I'm gonna pause, be right back, and we will go through all my clams. All right, you guys, are you ready? I have my iPad ready with all the scents. I have everything, I think for the most part in alphabetical order. I think I'm gonna hold up the scent or hold up the wax tart, read the scent, Maybe do a quick sniff and we're gonna move on because I think it's gonna be way too long if I like sit here smelling everything in depth. But I mean, let me know if you guys want like an updated video. I mean, 
obviously I'll put all this stuff in my melting basket when I do it or my empties video but I just think it's going to be way too long if I just like sit here and sniff everything especially because we have like the samples and like free clams too to go over so let's just start the first one is a French country Christmas. This is what the outside looks like. Let me open it. Oh, this is pretty. Here's what it looks like and it's like layered. So this says um, golden French vanilla layers with sweet fresh green balsam. Oh, the thing hit me in the face. Wow, I usually don't smell vanilla, but I truly smell like the creamy vanilla in here. And it's really good. Let me see. Sorry for the crinkling. Okay. I'm just gonna put the clams back in the box so we know what we went through. So that was the first one. The next one is a snow globe world. Here's what it looks like on the outside. Her clams are beautiful works of art, seriously. I literally go to, I haven't warmed a clam yet. I only have warmed her sample she gives because I just, I don't have the heart to break into a beautiful clam yet. But this one is the, oh, whoa. This one's the next one. And this says buttermint candy canes, salted caramel, brown sugar, and roasted chestnuts. And I'll also list all the scent descriptions in my description box. That is a beautiful scent. I totally get the really light creamy buttermint candy and candy canes. Maybe a little bit of the salted caramel and brown sugar, but I don't really get chestnuts. I love that. The next one is blackberry balsam. And this is what the outside looks like. And then this is what it looks like on the inside. And this one again is like two-toned. It's got a cute little bell in there. So this one says, Dark purple blackberries and crisp green balsam are rounded out with hints of spices and a sprinkle of glittering sugar. So that's what that one says. This is beautiful. I, I sometimes am scared of blackberry because I don't like the blackberry butter, blackberry jam butter cookies. I hate that scent, but this is a beautiful blackberry scent. Wow, that is so pretty. I'd consider getting another one of that. Do I need to make another order? No. Bohemian Solstice is the next one. And this says blue raspberry snow, rich cream cheese bites, all topped with a lavender chamomile glaze. So that sounds kind of interesting. So cute. Wow, that is super interesting. You definitely get that like blue raspberry kind of a scent, but I do feel like I'm getting some kind of herbal note from the lab lavender chamomile, but it's like beautiful. There's something about this, like the scent somewhat feels familiar, but not from wax. Maybe it's from something else that I've smelled before, but this is beautiful. Honestly, I really like this one. I feel like that one, if I were to get more, I feel like I'd maybe get another one of that one. It is really pretty. The next one is Bring Me Frost. And Bring Me Frost is smells of fresh snow, ozone, and frozen air. Okay. I feel like the snow scent from vendors is kind of snow dusted atop of like pine trees or something because I do always get like a, a um, tree note with the, the snow scent oil. That's what I'm getting to me like to me, I'm getting just like a light kind of like outdoorsy, like woody kind of a, a smell, earthy maybe. The next one is Candied Peppermint Bark. Her labels are just so cute too, like so much detail. I guess the only thing is that would be nice is scent notes and the pour date. But I, I did make my labels of, of scent descriptions. Um, but yeah, it is so beautiful. Okay, so candy cane, what did I say? Candied peppermint bark, yes. So that's that one, and that's what this looks like. And yes, you will kind of make a little bit of a mess with these. So this says, smells of crushed mint leaves and crisp peppermint blended with cinnamon bark, vanilla fudge, and cocoa powder. 
that's pretty. Number one, I, I'm smelling that cocoa powder. Um, it's not it's not Tootsie Roll to me, but I definitely smell chocolate. So if you don't like chocolate and wax, you might not like this. But I've found more and more I'm craving like a, a chocolate scent. I was actually warming one today and I, I really like them. Mint is definitely like a little bit more in the background. Number one, I'm smelling the cocoa powder. I can't say I really smell any like cinnamon or like vanilla scent too much. It's definitely like a chocolate peppermint um like a peppermint hot chocolate kind of a scent the next one is candied peppermint petals and this says marshmallow peppermint crystallized over sweet rose petals okay. wow this one is very rose smelling so if you like rose you'll definitely like this I smell the rose number one. I can't even say I really get much like peppermint. To me, I would say this is definitely floral rose heavy, bordering, bordering on that kind of powdery rose. But I've smelled powdery, like more powdery rose scents. Like this, this smells more genuine of like a rose floral scent. That's pretty though. I like it. To me, that's probably going to be like a bathroom scent. The next one is Candy Cane Blizzard. And this says, Frosty air and frozen snow blends with icy sweet candy canes. So again, like it almost smells just a little bit masculine, but I know some masculine scents do have like a little bit of like a, a tree or like woody earthy scent note to them so i think because of the snow the frosty air and the frozen snow that's why i'm getting a little bit of that earthy woody scent i don't really think i get much like sweet candy cane it's more um more the frosty air and frozen snow is what i think i'm getting in this one that, that one's pretty i like that one the next one is Christmas in the Country. Some of these I had as samples, some of them I didn't. I can't really remember which ones I had as samples. Look at that little pine cone in there. That's so cute. Oh my gosh. Here's what that looks like. And this says, smells of mold spicy cranberry blended with fresh cut Christmas trees and sweet balsam. Oops, sorry, hopefully you were looking at that. Ooh, this smells really pretty. It's interesting. It smells to me like um, cinnamon a little bit. It smells to, this one smells to me like potpourri a bit. Maybe because of that like spicy cranberry, fresh cut Christmas tree, sweet balsam. Like the mulled spicy cranberry is probably what's making me think potpourri a little bit. That's pretty. I feel like I'm going to have glitter on my nose after this video. I really like that. I like that a lot. Think potpourri. That's what that one smells like to me. The next one is Christmas morning socks. I think online it said Christmas morning socks tea. I don't know, but it just says Christmas morning socks here. Look at that cute label. And this is supposed to be soft cotton blends with spicy cinnamon, ginger, and clove with hints of cashmere and smoky woods. I can't get over the beautiful glitter. I love it. I don't care if it makes a mess in the warmer. I love the glitter. It makes me so happy. That's pretty. Soft cotton. Huh. It almost smells a little bit fruity to me. I mean, I guess I can maybe get the soft cotton. Like maybe that's what I'm smelling. It doesn't, it doesn't smell like laundry though. Definitely does not smell like spicy cinnamon. I don't, I'm not getting like ginger or clove. Like I'm not getting spices. And I also don't get smoky woods. That is so interesting. I like this one a lot. I was a little scared based off of the scent notes, but I was curious about the soft cotton. So either like I'm getting a lot of the soft cotton or like it smells more like, to me, it smells more like fruit. I don't know, fruit, a fruit mixture. It's really good. I like it. I just like, I don't feel like the scent description really fits it that well. 
Um, but sometimes like seriously, I feel like you gotta smell something to know if you like it or not. Because scent description, sometimes it's like, you just, you don't know what that's supposed to smell like until you smell it. And sometimes the mix of all these scents ends up making it great, you know? Um, the next one is Cindy Lou Who. I did have this in a sample and I did just melt this the other day in my bathroom. This one is very powdery. It's much more powdery than like the other rose one I, I showed earlier. So this one says lilac blends with candied lavender, hints of soft powder, creamed butter, and pillows of spun sugar. Honestly, I wasn't going to get it because it was really powdery and not my go-to scent, but look at that. I just couldn't, I couldn't resist. Look at how cute that is with the little lollipop in bed in there. I couldn't resist it. But yeah, it's definitely a powdery blend. So if you like that kind of powdery scent note, you'd love this. If it's not your favorite, you might want to pass on that. But cuteness wise, I had to get it. The next one is Claws Manor. I feel like so far we're making good time, although I still have a ton of clams to go through. So um, Claws Manor, delicious gingerbread blends with nutmeg, latte, um, and sweet cinnamon candy. I love the gingerbread in there. I mean, I definitely get the latte for sure. Gingerbread, maybe. Maybe that kind of butteriness from like a gingerbread. Not so much cinnamon candy. I think I, number one, I got kind of that coffee scent note a little bit. Now that it's open, it's not like super, super strong like latte forward, but I did get that like right when I opened the clam. Oh, I hear the bell in here. The next one is cranberry fig. And it's got a little jingle bell down there. So this one says tart cranberry is balanced with sweet figs and a touch of citrus. That's pretty. I come to realize I do love a good cranberry scent. I would say it's tart cranberry and I maybe I am getting a touch of citrus. That's pretty though. It's kind of like a bright fruit scent, like a bright winter fruit scent. The next one is Cranberry Spice. And Cranberry Spice says Cranberry Jam blends with nutmeg, cinnamon, and gingered oranges. Interesting. Oh, this is pretty. This one also gives me like a little bit of like potpourri vibes. I feel like it's because of like the orange, the gingered oranges maybe. Whenever there's like orange peel or orange spices, I just feel like that it's not like a bright orange juice. It's more like a potpourri orange peel kind of a scent. That's pretty though. Not fully potpourri, but it almost smells like the, the, the mold fruit part of the potpourri. I like it. I like it a lot. The next one is Cranberry Unicorn. I mean, I had to get this again for the cuteness. Um, this one says mold cranberries brightened with citrus peel and sugared berries. So kind of similar to the last one, maybe. Here's what that looks like. Super cute. I think that unicorn you can take out and keep. Yeah, this definitely smells more on the like candy side. The, that one smelled more on the potpourri fruit side. This one almost smells more like it's very sweet, like a sweetened version. And that could be from like the, the sugared berries too, but it smells more like a candy. A candy sweet scent. I like that. That's super cute. Okay, the next one is crystallized spearmint and peppermint. I'm not a huge spearmint fan, but I thought I'd give this one a try. And it says a layer of sweet peppermint topped with sparkling spearmint. So I'm wondering if the peppermint is the pink then and the spearmint is the green, so I might smell more spearmint. Yeah, I'm assuming that's what it is. I don't, I'm not gonna flip it over. I just don't wanna make an even bigger, bigger mess with the glitter, but I'm assuming the red on the bottom is the peppermint and then the green on the top is the spearmint. When I smelled the top, it just smelled like spearmint gum. 
The next one is crystallized vanilla cookies. And this says delicious vanilla cookie, no, delicious vanilla cream cookie with crunchy sugar sprinkled and buttercream frosting. That's pretty. If you love a good like vanilla, vanilla bakery, vanilla buttercream scent, you'd like this. That's pretty much like the description on this one's pretty much spot on. Just a vanilla, decadent vanilla bakery buttercream scent. The next one is Dream Cake. And this says smells of cotton candy, pink velvet cake, and raspberry vanilla cream. And this is another like really pretty like two-toned layered one. Oh, I love it. So here's like the two-tone layers. I love it. These, seriously, it's like mesmerizing to look at. And I think I've shown before, like she fills these clams to the top. Like absolutely, like there's no, there's no more room to pour more wax in here. And some of them even like aren't even shut <clears throat> all the way because of like some of the embeds or like how full the clam is poured. That's really pretty though. This one definitely does. And maybe it is because of the cotton candy. I don't know, but this smells more like candied, more sugary sweet of a scent. I really like it. I love a good sugary sweet scent. I feel like no scent can be like too sweet for me. The next one is Elf Morning Blend. My initials before I got married used to be Elf, E-L-F. E -L -F. So whenever I see like anything with the word Elf in it, I... I just love it. Um, but yeah, so this one is a coffee blended by elves, dark, rich coffee beans, candy cane pieces, milk chocolate, fluffy marshmallows, and peppermint bark. So it sounds like this one's going to be like a peppermint mocha kind of a scent, whereas the other one I smelled earlier didn't have any coffee in it. So it was more like a peppermint hot cocoa. I forget which one that one was, but one of them we did earlier. That's pretty. That's really pretty. Here's what that looks like. The coffee to me is not in the forefront. It smells more like the peppermint and um, chocolate. Maybe I'll have to smell the other one back to back. What was it? Um, mm, now I can't remember which one it was. Candy cane. Candy cane, peppermint bark. I can't remember. But I'm going to have to smell them back to back because I I don't smell too much um, like coffee beans in this one. But that could just be my nose. I feel like I never smell coffee like super, super strong unless it's like very in the forefront. But yeah, I like it though. I love a good peppermint chocolate scent. I'm come to, come to realize. The next one is Elf Sweat. So again, I had to get it because of the Elf um so here's what this one looks like and it says a bubbly magical blend of candy candy canes candy corn and syrup with effervescent spicy soda pop bubbles interesting huh i mean it's not that like soda pop that like i don't know some is so strong you can almost like feel the the bubbles in your nose it's not like that you can tell there is a soda pop scent note, but it's not like bubbling in your nose. It is just a sweet, a sweet kind of soda scent is just how I would describe it. The next one is Flying Reindeer Antler Academy. Again, sorry I can't be too descriptive. I just feel like this video is going to be a million hours long. <laughs> but I'm so excited, you guys. Don't even know how excited I am about this order. Um, so this says, let me show you guys. Oh, that's super pretty. Um, sweet evergreen and pine cones blend with orange peel, ruby, cranberries, cinnamon, and clove. This is another one that gives me like borderline potpourri vibes. Not, not completely, not as much as whatever other one I pointed out smelled like potpourri but it just smells like kind of the the fruit of the potpourri a little bit a little bit of um of the evergreen I'm not sure if I'm getting so much pine cone I don't love the pine cone scent note mm, yeah 
probably the evergreen and a little bit of like the fruits. That's pretty. And then I think the antler or that like the deer on there you can just take out. I think that's like a little piece of like sparkly paper. The next one is Frosty Cocoa. And this says, oh, interesting. Okay. This says, smells of white chocolate blended with milky cocoa, strawberries, and blackberries. So it's like hot chocolate with fruits. Oh, that's so good. I thought that was going to be kind, like, honestly, I thought that was going to be really odd, but it is so pretty. The strawberries and blackberries is in the forefront. The chocolate scent note is in the background, but I feel like it blends so well. Because it's almost like, you know, a chocolate dipped strawberry, a chocolate dipped blackberry. That's really pretty, actually. I like this one a lot more than I thought it was going to. I thought that's going to be a little weird, but so good. Give it a try. The next one is Frosty Mittens. And this one says flannel mittens, brown sugar cookies, and vanilla butter mints. That's really pretty too. I love the bathing garden. I feel like her scents are so, I mean, not all of them are unique, but I feel like a ton of them are unique to her. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Maybe it's just like the ex excitement of opening the package, but I feel like a lot seem like super fun and unique. That is so pretty. I love it. The flannel, the slight like bakery sugar cookie scent. I do get butter mints, but it's not, it's definitely not nose clearing. It's, it's a very light butter, butter mint scent. Um, but it's, it's not strong. I, I wouldn't even say it's like a minty scent. It's just that creamy sweet, sweetness of the butter mint, not necessarily the mint part of it. Um, the next one, if I'm going in order, which I'll just do. So the next one, like from an alphabetical order point, um, is one of the large clams that I grabbed. I wasn't going to get any large ones. I was going to stick with just small ones. And then if I liked any, go back in for more. But I was like, you know what? In case I don't go back in, I thought, let me just grab a jumbo clam. Sorry, it was sitting on my floor. If you see any hair, it's Mochi's hair. It's not from like the packaging or anything. But this is another really pretty like duo, duo toned. And that's what it looks like. I thought this one would be a safe one to get in the big size. So it's crushed candy cane, sweet baked cookies, and marshmallow buttercream frosting. That sounds so good. Yeah, I like it. Here's what that looks like. That's pretty. I love the buttercream frosting scent. I get the candy cane a little bit, but it's definitely light. Like if you're a, a super strong mint lover, I mean, this definitely isn't mint forward. I think it's way more like the baked cookies and the marshmallow like buttercream. I love it. I'm glad I got this one in the jumbo clam. Can't go wrong. I feel like what I'm going to do is probably cut them in half and use it that way. Um, if you If you like to use like a small amount of wax I feel like you could probably cut it into like thirds maybe but I like a strong powerhouse scent so I'll probably cut it in half the next one I got is Grinch's heart how cute is that um this says smells of vanilla extract buttermint cookies and sweet blue peppermint wow the blue peppermint is really strong for sure it almost gives me like an icy peppermint vibe and it also leans just a little bit more gum-like to me. Hmm. This one I would say is, you know, definitely mint forward. Again, I don't think it's nose clearing, at least not to me, but it's stronger than some of those other mint blends. The next one is Holly Jolly Wreath. And this is sweet green, sweet green balsam needles blend with tart cranberry sauce, a classic. Oh, this is pretty. This is what that looks like. Um, I'm saying, I'm thinking I get the tart cranberry sauce the most. Yeah, I don't even get like much of like the sweet green balsam. I think it's way more like the tart cranberry sauce, which I love. 
Oh my gosh, I have so much glitter on my feet from like smelling it. Okay, I really like that one. I like a lot of the cranberry sauce, cranberry scents. The next one is Hypothermia. She said Hypothermia 2021 on the website, I think, but this just says Hypothermia. And this says, freeze yourself with a blend of winter mint, green apples, cedarwood, musk, balsam, and vanilla. Interesting. So I don't think winter mint's my favorite. It leans a little gum-like to me. I think I'm getting the winter mint number one. A little bit of the green apples, but I can't say I really like pinpoint any of the other scent notes. So I think it's the winter mint and green apples. That's pretty though. I'll definitely warm it. The next one is Jack's Apple Frost. This says green apples, white vanilla, sugared meringue, and a blast of peppermint. So I'm wondering if that blast of peppermint will, will be strong because like Jack Frost, right? You think like cold, chill. What even is that in there? Jack's Apple Frost. Oh, is that an apple maybe? So the blast of icy peppermint actually isn't strong at all. I wouldn't even say there's a mint scent in here. I don't know what white vanilla is. I don't know. I think it's it's definitely a creamy green apple scent. That's what I would say it is. I I don't I don't get any um peppermint. Okay. The next one is Midnight Cinnamon. Um and I don't know if you guys have gone on her website or anything, but she is she did say I think they're taking a break on like the 10th maybe. She didn't say like anything really super specific, so I'm assuming She's taking like a holiday break and we'll come back in the new year. I'm not really sure though. So if you want to make your order, do it before the 10th. It's either the 10th or the 12th. So this one is spicy red hot cinnamon. Let me show you guys. Spicy red hot cinnamon blends with cinnamon bark essential oil, clove, and patchouli. Not really sure what patchouli is. Yeah, I would say it's like definitely cinnamon. A, a red hot cinnamon some other kind of yeah maybe maybe it's the clove or patchouli I'm smelling I'm not really sure but I definitely get that cinnamon bark scent that is super cute I think that is maybe actually cinnamon bark I don't know and look at those cool like gold nuggets in there I'm definitely keeping those so if you like a cinnamon scent can't go wrong with that you guys this one is adorable mistletoe kisses and this says, kiss your sweetheart with this del delicious blend of sweet mistletoe, English holly, camphor, fir, ivy, and vetiver. The perfect green scent without being too harsh on the pine or too sweet. So that kind of intrigued me because she kind of said like it's a good green scent. Because reading it, it seems very green. So let's see. Yeah, it's, it's definitely not too overpowering. Look at those red lips. So cute. Yeah, I'd say that's a really nice just Christmas holiday green scent. Not, I mean, not necessarily green like Christmas tree, but just, yeah, the mistletoe, I guess, the holly. I don't know. I like it. This is good. It's definitely good for around the holiday time, but I definitely, once I melt that, I don't need more until like next year. The next one is Pearls of Winter. And this says, smells of red apple, sweet strawberries, pink cotton candy, and raspberry ice. Doesn't that sound so good? Yeah, that is really, really pretty. I think I'm definitely getting like, I mean, it's hard to pinpoint all the fruits, but you definitely do get a nice sweet fruit scent. That's really pretty. I do feel like I get a nice like apple, strawberry, kind of candied scent. I would get more of this one. The next one is Plum Ballet. And this says dark blackberries, sweet vanilla sugar, and sugar plums dancing. I think I want to get more of this. Let's smell it though. That's really pretty. This again reminds me of something that I smelled in like childhood, but I don't know what, but it smells so pretty. 
it almost I don't know why it's almost giving me a little bit of a summertime scent but I feel like it's bringing back some kind of scent memory in my mind I don't know that is pretty yeah I would get more of this one the next one is polar cookies I partly got this because of the cuteness so this says sweet plum blends with ripe red fruits baked into sweet dough to create cookies um, cookies from the North Pole. Well, that's a really good cookie scent. So here's what that smells like. So you definitely, to me, it's bakery forward and then maybe this, the, the, the fruits in the background. But may, it could also be because I just smelled like more like fruit forward scents that now like my brain or my, my nose initially zoomed in on the more bakery scent note but I will say like now that I'm smelling it I do think I'm getting some of that sweet fruit scent too so maybe it was more when I like initially smelled it I got, got a burst of the bakery scent note aspect to it but I think it might be a good mixture of the fruit and bakery the next one is secret santa and this says, smells of dark wild berries blended with strawberries and bubbly champagne. That's pretty. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, I I see why she says dark wild berries. Dark wild berries, strawberries, bubbly champagne. Like, it smells fruity, but I can't pinpoint the fruit necessarily. Yeah. I like it. That smells good. It To me, it's not like a bubbly champagne. It doesn't tickle your nose. I'd say it's more like the berries kind of a scent. Mochi, stop licking, please. She's licking her herself. How embarrassing, Mochi. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, the next one is Sleigh Bells. So here's what this one looks like. And it says frosted, no, frosty sugar dusted pines layered with orange candy cane, clove, and hints of apple. I don't know, like, aren't her scents unique? They seem unique to me. Okay, I do get a little bit of like a mint scent in that one. Mint. So I guess I do get the candy cane a little bit. Orange, clove, apple, pine. It's just hard. It's like, I can't pinpoint the other scent notes, but it smells slightly minty with something else. So I guess maybe it's the orange, maybe it's the pine, maybe it's the apple, maybe it's the clove. I don't really know if I'm pinpointing those scents exactly, but it's a pretty scent. The next one is Snowball Express. And this one says, twisted red and green peppermint sticks and rock candy over a creamy vanilla fudge foundation. Oh, that is pretty. That's really pretty. It reminds me, so I'm definitely getting a little bit of the peppermint sticks, but it definitely is a creamy, gentle, um, dusty kind of a mint scent. I really like that. And I guess I would say it's mixed with like a creamy vanilla, vanilla foundation. Yeah, that makes sense. Doesn't smell super candy, like I don't pinpoint a rock candy scent, but it smells like a really nice creamy peppermint scent. I like that. The next one is Saint Saint Nicholas Drive. Sugared, um, sugared holiday berries blend with candy canes, sweet mistletoe, vanilla, and a sprinkle of cinnamon. Okay, I definitely get some green notes in here, so I guess... I guess maybe I'm getting the sweet mistletoe because I do smell some like green holiday scent. And I do get sweetness from the berries, I would say. This one, I don't think candy cane is a forward scent note unless my I'm going a little nose blind with all the scents that I've shown so far. Maybe a little bit of cinnamon. This is a really pretty holiday scent. Really nice and really pretty. 
The next one is Sugared Snow Dust, and it's got a cute little gingerbread man. I opted not to get the gingerbread, I forget what it was, but the gingerbread, like buttery gingerbread, just because I had the sample and it was a little odd to me, but if I go back in, maybe I would get like the two pack of little gingerbread guys like this just to like try it out again, because I didn't like hate it, it was just really different. But anyway, Sugared Snow Dust. This one says a decadent, here, let me show you guys. So that's what it looks like. A decadent blend of cotton candy, caramel, ta caramel taffy, vanilla cream soda, cocoa butter, strawberries, and light notes of citrus and musk. A sweet candy scent perfect for the snowy holidays. Wow, I, I actually smell the caramel taffy a lot. I think that's what I'm getting the most. Maybe a little bit of the cocoa butter. I can't say I really get any strawberry or citrus kind of a scent. More like I really got the caramel in this one. Wow. So that was sugared snow dust. The next one is the naughty list. And this one says cool peppermint and clove blends with crisp apple and light citrus. That's so cute. It's even got a little good bad list in there. Cool peppermint clove. I mean, I get the tiniest bit of cool peppermint. Definitely not nose clearing. Definitely not mint forward. With some fruit. But again, this is, this is a really pretty scent. But I don't feel like I'd necessarily be able to pinpoint that it's apple and citrus. It just smells like kind of a fruit with a, a, a creamy mint scent in the background. The next one is, is Tinsel Forest. I actually just warmed the samples that I had of this today. I forgot I got this one. I thought I didn't. I think it's I didn't get Tinsel, the plain Tinsel scent, but I did get Tinsel for Forest. Mm, yep, this is good. So this is orange... Orange zest, fir, cinnamon, pomegranate, pine leaves, and clove. I think the orange zest is actually pretty strong. I think it's even a little stronger than the sample I had. Yeah, I really like it. I get the orange zest and a little bit of like a little green scent. So either the fir or the pine leaves. Mmm. I like that. I don't think you get much cinnamon, so if you're not a fan of cinnamon, don't be afraid of that one. The next one is Twisted Vanilla Peppermint, and this one is Creamed White Peppermint, Vanilla Buttercream, Fresh sh fresh Snowy Air, and Crushed Candy Canes. This is pretty. I definitely do get kind of that crushed candy cane scent note. Creamed White Peppermint. I guess so. It's a creamy, vanilla, rich, um, kind of a mint scent. Not so much the snowy air. I definitely get more of a creamy mint scent more than like I do the snowy air. Like I said, I usually get a little bit like of a tree earthy note in that, but I didn't really get that in that one so much. It's more just a creamy, I would almost describe it as like a buttermint scent, like a creamy minty blend. The next one is peppermint snowballs and vanilla bows. This scent name is a little different than what was on online when I ordered it. It said Vanilla Snowballs and Peppermint Bows, so the name is just a little bit backwards. Wow, this one is very minty. I almost think this is the strongest mint scent I've smelled so far out of all the blends that I've had with mint. Yeah, that icy peppermint comes out really strong. I think I had another icy peppermint and I thought it leaned kind of gum-like. Yeah, I would agree with that. It's a really strong gum kind of a scent. Like when you're chewing gum, like you first put that fresh stick of gum in your mouth, like that's the scent I'm getting, like very strong. Yeah, that's good. So if you like a strong mint scent, I would recommend this one. All right, I'll, you know, honestly, we're kind of wrapping up my clams. So the next one is Winter Jammies. I was really excited about this one. Um. Oh, wait. Oof. Okay, let me, sorry, let me go in alphabetical order. The next one I'm going to do is When Whoville Dreams. 
I'm so excited for this one too. Okay, Dreams of Sugar Plums, Candied Raspberries, Spun Sugar, and Vanilla Fairies. Doesn't that sound so good? I feel like if I go back for something, I'd probably get another one of these. Um, sorry, I didn't mean to mix up the, the alphabetical-ness of the clams there. That's pretty. Here's what that looks like. Yeah, I really like it. I really like it. If you like a candied fruit scent, I feel like you're gonna like this one. That's pretty. I love it. It smells so pretty. I feel like one of those balls just fell out on the floor. Okay, now let's move on to winter jammies. So winter jammies is sweet cotton laced with lavender, blends with peppermint and vanilla, peppermint marshmallow frosting. Sorry, no vanilla. So pretty, oh my gosh. You definitely get that clean or like that sweet cotton kind of a scent. This one does lean a little bit more laundry to me. That's super pretty. Laundry, maybe a little bit of lavender, but I can't say I'm picking up peppermint unless I'm nose blind right now. That's pretty. Honestly, I would maybe consider getting another one of these. I really, I come to realize like in the Christmassy holiday scents, I'm seriously, I'm kind of already over Christmas tree scents. I'm not a huge fan of tree scents, I come to realize. I warmed like a, um, a scent like this earlier today, a kind of like laundry holiday sort of blend and I loved it. So I really like that, that kind of like clean cotton mixed with some like holiday scent oils. I think that's pretty. The next one is Winter Nights. And this says spearmint and vanilla candy canes blend with corn mint, cotton candy, and frosty midnight breezes. I don't know what a corn mint is, but it intrigues me. This is really pretty. It smells more like a creamy mint candy of sorts. Honestly, this kind of reminds me of a candy cane. So maybe I'm getting like the candy cane the most. I, You know what? I'm actually happy. I don't get too much spearmint in this. Actually, I really don't smell spearmint. To me, it's more candy cane forward. Okay, I'm happy with that. Because sometimes spearmint, I feel like, takes over a blend a little too much. The next one is Winter Palace. This says smells of French vanilla, winter berries, vanilla, pomegranate, strawberries, icy peppermint with hints of tea and pink sugar. This is so pretty. I love it. I think I really do get the strawberries in this one, which is why I like it. I think I get the strawberries and like pink sugar. Yeah, to me, that's what I'm getting. I get no icy peppermint and no lavender. Mm, that's pretty. I like it. Winter Palace. Honestly, I'd consider getting this one again. That is really pretty. The next one I have is Sleepy. And Sleepy is our classic Sleepy scent dressed up for the season. Smells of pink sugar, peppermint, and vanilla. That's funny, the, the color on here. Like with the scent notes, pink sugar, peppermint, and vanilla, I would have thought maybe it would be pink. That's pretty. You definitely get the pink sugar and I think peppermint. Yeah, yup. Pink sugar and peppermint. Vanilla must just be a good blender, but I'm not necessarily pinpointing that. The next one is Winterberry Woods. This one says, um, the, the sweetest frosted wint winter berries amid snowy Douglas firs Pink pomegranate and hints of vanilla. Okay, I do get, I do get the kind of berries mixed with um, like a, a Christmas greenery scent. Yeah, I feel like that scent description is pretty good. Like a, a berry, berry green scent, like I said. All right, the next one and last one of the clams that I purchased is Vetiver Bells. And this says, Vetiver and sandalwood blend with pine, orange, and stormy, stormy ozone, addictive and refreshing. That intrigued me when she said addictive and refreshing because this to me doesn't sound like a scent. 
I would probably enjoy, but let's see. Okay, I mean, I definitely smell the pine because I get like a Christmas holiday green aspect to it. So I'm smelling the pine. I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm pinpointing like a vetiver or sandalwood like or stormy ozone. Like I'm not really sure what those smell like individually. But it smells like a Christmassy scent. All right, you guys, those were, were my clams. Now let's move on to really quick before we go over my like samples and freebies that she included in my order. Let's go over. I got two wax shaped items. So the first one is frosted apple fir needles. Crisp apple blends with fir needles, winter berry, applewood, cedar, and crisp air notes. So this is like called a whimsical tree, I think. And this is 1.4 ounces. So that's what the label looks like. And this is what the tree looks like. How cute is that? Mm, that's really pretty. You definitely, oh no, I just pulled out. Oh, okay. It's almost like a little like, I don't know what that is, but let me push it back in here. It looks like it's almost like a little like pin. I don't know, like a little cranberry thing you like get from like the little, I don't know, like green things that you can make like little decorations with around your house. I don't know. This is interesting. It feels so light. Huh. That is really pretty though. I definitely get like the berry or the apple. Yeah, it smells like a really good like Christmas greenery and apple note. That is really pretty. That's so weird. The wax feels so like light. I don't know. You guys look at my hands. So glittery. All right. And the next one I got, I remember getting this because the clam was already sold out. Unless she didn't have a clam of this. I don't know. But this is Arctic Moon. I'm pretty sure it was gone because I thought I saw it the first day when I was making my list. Then I went back for it and it wasn't there except in this shape. But I wasn't, you know, I'm not mad because look at how pretty this shape is. I'll take it out of the bag. This says icy peppermint and juniper breezes blend with hints of lavender. So that sounded good. Oh, that's really pretty. I think it's an herbal lavender. I get the lavender for sure. Look at how pretty that is. I don't know if you can see like the moon. Is it a sun and moon? I don't know, but there's two little faces on here. That's pretty. It almost smells like spa-like a little bit, like zen, definitely like a relaxing scent. I get zero icy peppermint in this. Interesting. So that one, those are my wax melts. Now let's wrap it up with the body care items that I got, and then we'll go on to the freebies. So the first one, and you guys, these are all sealed. That It looks so professional. So I'm not gonna unwrap these and smell these only because they're like sealed and I'm assuming like airtight and stuff. So I don't wanna like open it up because I'm not gonna use it right, right at this moment. Um, and I think I got most of these in wax anyway. So I got Plum Ballet Silky Smooth Lotion, um, Blackberry Sugar Plum, and this is, um, I don't know, I guess she lists the um, ingredients on the back and this is what it looks like. This is so professional looking. I don't know if you can see, but there is like plastic wrapped around this. So it's sealed. Um, I'm so excited to give this a try. So that's one of her lotions. Then I got one of her... Um, whipped soap so i was super interested because i also for the first time got one of zape's whip soap so i thought i would try one of these ones and this is pearls of winter whipped soap this is what it looks like all sealed so professional i love that okay and then the next one i got is one sugar scrub i'm not huge into sugar sugar scrubs that's like a tongue twister for me but um, I thought I'd give it a try. Like, why the heck not? It looks so cute and fun. And this is when Whoville Dreams. This is coconut oil sugar scrub. She had a lot of different oils. So if you prefer like a certain oil, I think there was like coconut oil. I'm just throwing these out there. I don't know if these are actually it. Maybe an avocado oil. Maybe a, 
vegetable oil i don't know i might have just made that up but she has different like oils so if you prefer one over the other just look for a different oil but not all scents are in all the different oils so i wanted one whoville dream so i was like eh, yeah i'll try coconut oil look at how cute there's like a little i don't know what that is cookie christmas cookie in there super cute i'm so excited these are so fun like i love it okay you guys so that was everything that i got and then she is so nice she includes so many freebies this is almost like a whole nother like order it almost looks like like with how many freebies she included and i even got two little body care samples in here as well i'm wondering if it's because i did order body care that she included body care samples this time and how cute are these little jars like look at how cute these little jars are so the first one is pearls of winter sugar scrub so this will be great because i have pearls of winter um whipped soap so now i have it in a sugar scrub and then i also have iced peppermint cordial in a sugar scrub so that'll be interesting to try i feel like peppermint minty scents in in like the in bath items or body care it almost kind of wakes you up because of the sharp like mint scent all right now let's go on to these items wrapped up in um tissue paper and these are freebies i think i don't have scent notes um of these unless it's something that i already got oh my gosh these are so pretty oh i think these are like a um a preview to maybe her valentine collection because this one is called old fashioned valentine look at the detail on this heart cookie that's pretty i think there's like a strawberry scent note in here i'll try to find the description but sometimes if it's not a collection that she has on her website um i might not be able to find the scent notes but i will try look at how cool that is it's like a raised like rose or some kind of like flower intricate flower design so pretty that is really a, a nice scent. I have no idea how I would describe that, but it's really pretty. Um, I'm gonna have a hard time cutting into that because it is so pretty. Oh no, I put it this way. I think she purposely puts the fun part on the other side so you can look at it. Oh well, I'll put it back the other way later. Then I also got Rockwell painting. And this is a really pretty like, um, Christmas cookie. So I think this might be from her Christmas collection then. I feel like that name sounds familiar. This smells like it's got some kind of smoky smokiness to it. And also some kind of Christmas greenery kind of a scent to it. That's actually really pretty. I remember that name, but I didn't get it for some reason. So I'm sure there was some kind of scent note in there that scared me. The next one is... Did I not get this? Why wouldn't I have gotten this? This sounds so good. Yeah, I guess I didn't get this. Raspberry Kisses? Is this a holiday scent or is this like a preview to like a Valentine's Day scent? I don't know, but this sounds amazing. If this was on the website, I feel like I would have gotten it. That's pretty. A really sweet raspberry scent. I almost feel like I'm smelling a little bit of blackberry, but maybe just the berry scent note gets confused in my head. That's really pretty. Look at how pretty. Some more glittery pink lips. I love that. And then my um, next clam I got. Oh my gosh. This is so nice of her for including so many freebies. Like, that's so sweet. And honestly, that makes you want to buy more. You know what I mean? Like, be a return customer and like, all of these scents, like, half of the scents from the freebie samplers of the winter collection that I got, I did purchase. So... I think it's it's nice when the vendors include free samples so this one is cranberry bubbles is this one i don't know it almost seems like these might be a it might be like a preview to her, her valentine day scents but i'm not sure because I, I feel like i would have gotten it if i saw it on the website this is so pretty i love it 
a nice cranberry scent. You can tell it's supposed to be like a bubbly scent, but again, it's not so bubbly that it's like tickling your nose, but that one's really pretty. It looks Christmassy. Be oh no. I don't know. It's like a Christmas unicorn deer. I'm not sure what's in that picture, but it's really pretty. All right, you guys, now let's open up the freebie bag. So here we go. The first one. So it looks the same as this Rockwell painting, but it is in Siberian Spruce. Yeah, a good, good holiday greenery kind of a scent. How cute is this? Oh my gosh, gingerbread, caramel, and pear. Literally looks like a gingerbread cookie that I want to take a bite of. This bag is super thick. Interesting. I mean, I totally get that, like, gingerbread scent. I just don't know how I feel about it. Again, just out of curiosity, like, I might get, like, the gingerbread scent again just to, like, remind myself what it was like. Because it's, like, it's one of those scents that it flip-flops. It's, like, I kind of like it, then I'm not sure. Then I like it again, then I'm, like... Do I like it though? I don't know. I feel like maybe the pear adds a little something extra to this one. It's not just the pure like gingerbread spices scent. <clears throat> I don't know. Okay, the next one is candied peppermint bark. So I'm pretty sure I do have this one. That's what this looks like. So I'm not going to smell it just because I'm, I'm pretty sure we already went through that one. Um, the next one is Cinderella would be jealous. Hmm. I'm not sure what collection this is. Really pretty um, part. I have no idea what this smells like, but it smells good. It almost smells a bit body care like to me. It's pretty. Whatever it is, I would buy it in a clam for sure. Okay. The next one is in another heart, Frozen Hearts. Um, nope, I didn't get that one. Oops, sorry. I hope I was showing that. I got Grinch's heart, but I don't think I got like a Frozen Heart scent. Oh, that's pretty. This this smells like a nose clearing mint to me. Mmm, that is really pretty. I would get that again. The next one is um, Harley Hearts Joker. Yeah, so is this Valentine's Day? Well, I'm excited. I'm going to purchase from her Valentine's Day collection. Some kind of fruit scent, maybe? I cannot pinpoint the scents in this one, but it's pretty. Not sure if I'd buy that one in a full size, but I do like it and I'll have to see how I like the sample on warm to see if I want to buy it. And then the last heart I have is, oh no, technically we have another heart. Um, this is Pucker. <clears throat> this one kind of smelled like the other one. I feel like maybe it's the color making me think this. Maybe it's a little lemony. I'm not sure. I might be making that up. And then the next heart, it's not that exa exact same type of heart, but this one is Love and Madness. We have this pretty heart. I love her samples. They're like really good sizes. This is really pretty. Again, this one almost leans a little body care like to me. Um, I'm so excited to try her body care. That is really pretty. Mmm. I would probably get that one again. Then we have a little ornament in Cranberry Fig. So I think I have this one. Yes. So we have this one in a clam. Um, buttermint cinnamon roll. I think she did offer this one, but I was scared because like mint and cinnamon roll, does that go together? That is beautiful. 
Wow, I did not think that was gonna smell good, like be a good combination. Look at, she even like drizzles a, a, a little glaze on top of the cinnamon. That is so detailed. This looks so good, I wanna like eat it. Somehow it works. I thought it was gonna be strange, but I like it. The next one, again, good enough to eat, is pink sugar pie crust. Look at how pretty that is. Yeah, you definitely get hit with that pink sugar for sure. I'm not sure if I'm getting pie crust, but I for sure smell pink sugar, that pink sugar scent note. It's really pretty. I like it. I would probably get this in a full size. I do like pink sugar. The next one, super pretty. These ones are on the smaller side, Rockefeller Lights. I guess I didn't get this one. Pretty pretty. I think it smells like some kind of fruit scent. Like a pomegranate or a cranberry, like a winter fruit scent. Yeah, that's really pretty. I wonder why I didn't get it. So that was, um, Rockefeller Lights. And then the last sample we have here is Seven Layer Cake. This is in a really cute little bunt shape. Mmm, that's good. This is like a really good bakery kind of a scent. So if you like bakery, you'd probably like the Seven Layer Cake. So you guys, that is everything. I have no idea how long this video is. I hope it's not too much longer than an hour. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it to the end, did you guys order anything from her winter collection? Are you going to? If you do, again, like I said, order before. Let me just look it up right now so you guys know. Okay, it says, we will be taking a break starting 12.10. So all orders placed on or before 12.10 will ship by 12.12. 12. So yeah, definitely order if you want to there's like what her little note is on the website so if you want to place an order place one soon thank you guys so much for watching let me know if you got any of these scents i'm so excited to warm i feel like i'm so excited i want to warm and you know what i feel like a lot aren't super super christmas specific or some don't necessarily scream holiday it could just be like winter so that's good because I definitely want to let this stuff cure and it's already December. So some of this stuff might have to wait till next year, but I'm so excited to warm. Um, like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a good evening and I'll see you in my next video.